Many action videos contain a figure performing complex motions in front of alternating backgrounds. Thanks to recent advances in deep learning, we are able to extract an approximated pose in a reliable way. In this work, we add the ability to control the pose according to a low-dimensional signal, for example a joystick, thereby obtaining control over the moving character. We then render a realistic image sequence consisting of a realistic character, object, background, and other environmental surroundings. We can switch backgrounds, even to a dynamic background. With little optimization, the entire inference process can be performed in real time using multiple GPUs, as demonstrated here in our live demo. Behind the scenes, we have synthesized a sequence of poses and objects conditioned on the user's control signal. In parallel, we employ an image generation process creating both a blending mask and the new appearance information. By blending the generated image and the background according to the mask, we generate the final frame. We employ two networks. The pose to pose network generates a new pose and object pair, given the current one and the control signal. As can be seen, the conditioning signal is injected into the residual blocks at the center of an autoencoder architecture. At training time, the character's motion replaces the control signal. A handheld object can be generated as well. In addition to the pose, the network receives an object channel, which is concatenated to the pose channels. During training, the object is extracted as the semantic segmentation of the tennis racket. The pose to frame network generates the two outputs, mask and image. Dedicated losses ensure that the mask is continuous and the blending natural. Note that in regions of shadow, for example, the mask is not binary and takes intermediate values. The same is true of character boundaries, especially in regions of uncertainty, such as hair. Several regularization terms are applied over the mask, guiding it towards the desired function. We encourage the mask to be close to one, where the character is present, and discourage it from attaining high values or high derivative values elsewhere. We use two discriminators for training the poster frame network. The first focuses on the output frame, while the second focuses on the lower resolution of the output. Both discriminators are fed binary threshold images, focusing solely on the character. In addition, a feature matching loss is applied on both discriminators and over a pre-trained VGG network. The VGG feature matching is performed over the entire generated output in order to learn environmental surroundings, shadows for example. The poster frame component can be directly compared with recent work. Through use of a learned mask, our solution is better able to model the background and even replace it. This results in significantly few artifacts. As seen in this example, the artifacts of the baseline method that can be noticed over the window, the blurry rug, and the disappearance of the small light bulbs on the right are not present in our work. Let's see a few additional examples. In the dance sequence, we demonstrate our ability to mix and match between characters and backgrounds, which is not possible in the previous work. In the walking sequence, the character is controlled and embedded in various backgrounds. As seen in the tennis sequence, our control over the character determines the pose, which in turn determines the blending mask and the generated raw frame. The raw frame is then blended with the dynamic background to create the final frame. This is the reference video for the fencing sequence. Here, too, we demonstrate our ability to control the motion in the scene. Thank you for your attention.